Magandang buhay mga bata. Tara, samahanin niyo ako matuto kasama si Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you! Matatag Curriculum, Science Grade 4, Quarter 2, Lesson 3. Our topic for today is about plant systems. This is Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Let's start! For our learning competency, the learners observe the root and shoot system in plants and describe why they are important. Objectives First, observe and identify the root system of a plant. Second, observe and identify the shoot system of a plant. Third, describe the functions of the root system. Fourth, explain the functions of the shoot system. Fifth, discuss the importance of root and shoot systems in plant growth. And sixth, Compare and contrast the roles of root and shoot system in plants. Here are the content. Plant systems, root system, shoot system, and importance and roles of root and shoot systems. Unlocking Content Area Vocabulary Roots The part of a plant that typically grows underground and absorbs water and nutrients from the soil. Underground Located beneath the surface of the ground, not visible above ground. Anchoring, the process of securing or holding something firmly in place, such as how roots stabilize a plant in the soil. Absorption, the process of taking in substances, such as water and nutrients, through the roots. Support, providing structural stability to hold the plant upright and allow it to grow. Storage, the process of keeping food and energy reserves in parts of the plant, such as roots. Food, nutrients produced by the plant through photosynthesis, used for growth and energy. Water, a vital liquid absorbed by plants through the roots. Essential for various biological processes. Now, let us start with what are plants. Plants are living organisms that are able to produce their own food through photosynthesis. They come in a wide variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. They provide food and oxygen for many other living things. Now, let's have the parts of the plant. 
These are the parts of the plant. Leaf, stem, root, flower, fruit, and seed. Now, let's have them one by one. Roots. Roots are often found below the surface of the soil. They absorb water and nutrients from the ground. They also anchor the plant in place. Some roots store food and nutrients for the plant's growth. Stems. Stems are found above the ground. They provide support to the plant by holding up leaves, flowers, buds, and fruits. They also transport water, nutrients, and minerals to different parts of the plant. Leaves. Leaves are flat and thin structures attached to the stem of a plant. They produce food for the plant through the process of photosynthesis. They also help regulate the exchange of gases with the surroundings. Flowers. Flowers are characterized by their colorful petals and sweet fragrance. They attract pollinators like insects and birds that help in the transfer of pollen from one flower to another. This transfer of pollen leads to seed production. Fruits. Fruits are the parts of the plant that contain seeds. They protect and dispense seeds. They also provide food for animals. They are typically sweet or tart in taste and can be eaten raw or cooked. Seeds. Seeds are typically small, often protected by a seed coat, and contain a tiny, undeveloped plant embryo along with a supply of stored food. The embryo, seed coat, and stored food are all necessary for a new plant to grow and develop. Plants are amazing because they provide us with oxygen to breathe, food to eat, and materials for clothing and shelter. They also make our environment beautiful. Let's appreciate and take care of plants because they are an essential part of our lives and our planet. Let's go on with plants and their systems. Have you ever planted something? What did you do to make it grow? What are the main parts or organs of a plant? We have leaves, stems, and roots. Remember, similar cells working together form tissues, and tissues work together to form organs. Plants have two main systems. 
Can anyone guess what these systems are? Here's the hint. These words rhyme. Share your answer to your classmates. Plants have two main systems. These are root system and shoot system. Let's have first the shoot system. The shoot system is the aerial part of the plant which grows or shoots upwards while the root system is composed of the organs that grow beneath and into the ground. Here are the major functions of root system. First, absorbing water and minerals. Second, anchoring and supporting the plant. Third, storing food roots grow down first the tip or root cup protects the roots as it goes down it also helps the root sense gravity second new cells are continually replenished via the root meristem. And third, thicker roots absorb nutrients less but stores fluids and food better. Importance and Roles of Root System First, is nutrient absorption. Roots absorb essential nutrients and minerals from the soil, which are necessary for the plant's growth and development. Second is water uptake. Roots take in water from the soil, which is vital for photosynthesis and other physiological processes. Third is anchorage. Roots secure the plant in the soil, providing stability and preventing it from toppling over, especially during strong winds or heavy rains. Fourth is storage. Some roots store carbohydrates and other nutrients. Example, in carrots or potatoes. For later use during periods of low availability. Fifth is soil improvement. Roots can help improve soil structure and prevent erosion by holding the soil in place. Sixth, symbiotic relationships. Roots often form symbiotic relationships with fungi or bacteria, enhancing nutrient availability. Now, let's go on with shoot system. Here are the major functions. First, provide structure by holding it upright or stem. Second, transports fluids between throughout the whole plant. And third, collect sunlight and make food by photosynthesis.
shoot system grows upward. It shoots up towards the sunlight, which allows the system to facilitate photosynthesis in the leaves. The absorption of oxygen and sunlight happens here. Importance and Roles of Shoot System First is Photosynthesis. The leaves in the shoot system are responsible for photosynthesis, converting sunlight into energy and producing food for the plant. Second, Growth and development. The stem supports the plant and allows for upward growth towards sunlight, which is essential for maximizing photosynthesis. Third is transport. The shoot system transports water, nutrients, and food between the roots and leaves through specialized tissues. Xylem and phloem. Fourth is reproduction. Flowers and fruits in the shoot system are crucial for plant reproduction, attracting pollinators and facilitating seed dispersal. Fifth is gas exchange. Leaves allow for gas exchange, taking in carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen through tiny openings called stomata. Sixth is storage. Some stems, example in cacti, can store water, helping plants survive in arid environments. Let us wrap up our lesson. Plant parts are also called organs. Working together, they make up two systems. First is shoot system. It provides overall structure, collects and produces food through the leaves, and transports fluids through the stem. And the second one is the root system. It grows down because of gravity, absorbs water and nutrients, and stores food. So what does a plant need to grow? First is sunlight. Plants require sunlight as their energy source for photosynthesis, a process which converts carbon dioxide and water into glucose. Second is air. Plants need oxygen to make food and to have energy. Plant cells release their own energy by breaking down sugars and using up oxygen. Third is soil. Soil holds the plants up. Roots grow down into the soil. Soil provides nutrients and water. Fifth is water. Water helps move nutrients from the soil into the plant. Too much water can cause a plant's roots to rot. Too little water can cause a plant to wilt or droop.
Sixth is nutrients. Plants need nutrients in order to germinate, grow, fight off pests, and reproduce. Plants and people. Plants are crucial for human survival, providing nutrition, warmth, medicine, clothing, shelter, and the air we breathe. Here are the activity sheets with answers. Good luck! And that wraps up today's lesson. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for tuning in!